What's up everybody and welcome to officially what is going to be the first job in Eamon's garage. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of paint, gloss and clarity using the Rowpoint IQ gauge. Now this car belongs to one of our long-term customers, Kate. Lovely customer and a beautiful car. We noticed that after a repair due to an accident by I believe what's a, a car park valet, there's a difference between the left hand side and the right hand side in terms of clarity of the paint. So I'm going to measure the gloss of both the left hand side and the right hand side recorders and we're going to see if we can equalize them because right now to the eye or to my eye at least they don't look right. So this is the side that I believe can be glossier and according to the um, Rowpoint IQ gauge we have a score of 76.2 for the gloss but more importantly the reflective image quality which is how clear the reflection is like a mirror is only 48.2 let's go to the other side which to me looks glossier and compare it so same position as the right hand side and let's measure so we have taken several readings of both sides and what I could see right off the bat is there is uh, a big increase in gloss on this side but more importantly the reflective image quality is twice as good on this rear guard as it is on the other side so if you're looking at a reflection in here you're going to see it twice as clear as the other one which is a big big difference and we're going to try to use some paint correction techniques to get that rear quarter up to scratch I've been giving you the worst Now you wanna stay tonight Pity how you weren't caught for me Quite forgetting how to talk Nah, no, I don't like no humble beats Just go and slice it up Now it's time to marry me After doing a pass with a medium pattern product combination, we did get a 20% improvement in reflection quality and I would say about 10 to 15% improvement in gloss, but I'm still not happy. It still looks like it hasn't been sprayed properly, although this side should not be sprayed at all. So I'm going to then go back and use a uh, more aggressive pattern product combination and try to level some of that texture and we'll see how we go. All right, so quick uh, reasoning behind choosing IGL F1 instead of the product we were using before is that we're now trying to level texture, so orange peel in other words, and we want to get that flatness to improve the reflection quality. So we're going to use an IGL wall pad with IGL F1 to carefully cut this back. The thickness is about 180 microns, so it's not too thin. And we're going to see if we can improve the result that we got. Now this should hopefully remove some of the texture that we're looking at getting rid of. And then we're going to follow up with a fine polish to bring the gloss back. So now we're going to follow up with a pretty good combination for single stage paint correction, which is uh, Scholl's S20 Black, which is a diminishing compound that's good for medium paints and the uh, Lake Country pad, which is the equivalent of an IGL orange pad. Um, I just grabbed it because it was in front of me. But this is a good combo for medium paint that is not haste prone to get decent cut and decent finish. 
So speed three. to do is I'm going to take a reading from the side that we just did, a reading from the original side. All right, so 82, 85, that's what we're looking at. Eighty-eight, forty-nine. Now the reason that the reflection of 88 is better here is the angle, because it's a flatter angle, you're going to get a better reflection but the 49 is the reflective image quality, which is what we're looking at addressing. That is actually the orange peel. Now let's go to the other side and try to take a reading in a similar position, which would be about here. Now keep in mind, this is fresh paint. This was resprayed. Eighty-three, sixty-nine. So that side that was really bad is actually better than this freshly resprayed side. And what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this thing off because if I drop it, it will cost a lot of money to replace. We're going to peel off the tape and let's see if Thomas can actually capture the difference. Let me just wipe off the edge where it normally captures, catches on some product. And let's see if the professional photographer can show you what we can see in person. So here we are, the AMG is all done and ready to go back to its owner. It wasn't a massive job because we have previously wrapped and detailed and coated this beautiful car, but it did give us the opportunity to demonstrate the value and importance of having the right tools. In this case, it was the Rowpoint IQ gloss meter, and we could see not only with our eyes, but with a reading that one of the panels was not as shiny as the others, and that was corrected. Otherwise, we're all ready to send it back home. Thank you for tuning in and looking forward to making the next video for you.